All right, let's try this again. <laughs> now that I have the speaker turned on, the system knows to send the sound out to my headphones. All right, it just, I don't know why the speaker has to be on to go to the headphones, but it is what it is. Now the sound works, and I've turned the infernal music way down to 10. Yay, good. So that won't bother me anymore today either. So, uh, yes, great news. Danger Zone version 2.7 is out. And of course, it took me two seconds. Now I'm working on DZVR 2.8, and I have made threaded explosions and rearranged uh the, so so entities get damaged first and uh tweaked a few things on the on the powers and the ranges and and whatnot and then uh added, made some improvements to the uh to the actual uh virtual uh buffers here uh virtual buffer objects because uh I blew up the renderer uh, with the explosions. <laughs> I mean, literally, it just it barfed all over itself and said, this explosion is too big. It ate too much memory. I'm going to die. Splat in it. And that's what it did. It said, too much memory. So I had to make these a lot smarter and do some tweaking in the world renderer to, to make everything uh, work correctly in DZ 2.8. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I uh, mean, we're uh, we're back in uh, DZVR. Uh, this is pretty much 2.7, with the uh, exception of uh, the modifications that I've already done to the uh, explosives. And what I wanted to show you today is I wanted to rub some people's noses in something that I've done. And as you know, this is a Java game, right? It's all written in Java, right? That's what this is. This is all Java code here. So, and on, and what I want to do is just show you what we do and how we do it in DZ VR because y'all are slow. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to sit on the Y key and this is how we do dimension changing and world generation in DZ VR. Ready? And let me go. Are you kidding me? I came right back to it. Of course. So instant world generation. There ain't no waiting. I got all my textures. They're all here, right? World generator. Boom. Boom. Hey, world. Yeah, no loading screen. Look at that. We got things out there in the weeds. Look at that. You can see them all the way out there. Can you see that, guys? This is in 1920 by 10, 10, 1080. I hope you can see that. I'm shooting at those. Look, this is in ultra graphics mode. You can see everything, every little critter. Let's go. Next dimension. Boom. Look, did I wait for that dimension to load? No, no, of course not. This is DZVR. And it's Java, a painfully slow, primarily interpreted language that nobody should actually write real-time programming in, but I did because I'm good. And that should make you guys feel bad, you guys that are using C and C++ and think you're a real programmer and you need a loading screen because your graphics are so slow and you can't load anything without a waiting screen. Can you do it instantly? <laughs> like we do here in DZVR. Look at that, look at that. did I wait? Is there any waiting? No, no, everything's loaded. Look at that, my whole world is done. Everything's up, flying around, running around. Oh, get out of here. Why do keep hitting the different, the wrong dimensions? That's how fast we change dimensions here in DZVR. And oh, the semicolon. Now, remember what the semicolon does. Boom! Instant. Just go to whatever dimension you want to. Bang! There I am. Look at that. Look at that crap. All of this generated on the fly. No waiting at all. Did you see that? Uh, you know, half a second. At the, come on. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. 
in a half a second. Come on. This is Java, people. Instant load. No loading screens. No waiting. No fuss. No muss. Look at that. You can. Can you even see that on the on the on the on the screens there? You can see the the the, the visual distance in this ultra graphics mode. Where did he go? He didn't want to get shot, did he? Get, come here. Right there. Now I got him. Oh, there's the little one. <laughs> ah, gotcha. So, um, that, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no waiting. Um, yeah, but you guys know this. This is, uh, DZ VR 2.7 Ultra Graphics Mode. Um, in the previous versions, everything was slowed down and delayed and wait stated to, so that we could be nice for the, the slow, the little old molding machines. But uh, if you go and you put your graphics mode into this, into not not sad or lame or good is actually pretty good. There's nothing wrong with good mode. And great is a little bit better, right? But put your graphics into uh, into uh, ultra mode, and then all those weights are like gone. It just says, oh, you got a sweet machine. Let's see what it can do, and it'll eat your CPU. Right, so here we are. Let me show you my task manager here. Boom. It's actually not doing a whole lot right now. So I'm chewing on video and playing the game. There's my task manager. I'm using what a total of about a quarter of my CPU. Yeah, not very much. This says 13% total. <laughs> I'm not using much. Ah, we can fix that. <laughs> oh, I'll get to that. Yeah. Let's go. I don't. I don't like blowing things up in my in my safe space dimension. Let's, where do you Where do you want to go? Mining dimension. That's usually a pretty good place to blow things up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've got a couple of mountains and stuff. All right. We've got some nice flat area here. Look at that. A whole big spot full of nightmares. Let's do that. All right. So you remember the the little instabilities? And they go pop, pop, bang. Right there, they'll blow up a little piece of dirt. And then you got a large instability, right? And it'll blow up a, a slightly bigger area. And then uh, also in the base uh, DZVR game, you got huge instability, right? And you go boom. Yeah, look at that. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I smoothed all this. I spent some time blowing some, some blowing stuff up. It, it works best you throw two in a row boom boom one turns them into entities and then the other just <laughs> blows them sky high oh man i got too much fire going on let's see f3 oh i still got room here why are you guys not flying up in the air i'm just not doing enough of them there we go oh, get some dirt flying there we go all right now we got some dirt flying man. <laughs> make that dirt fly so uh all right and then we get into the massive explosives mod. Put all, put out all those fires. All right, then we get it, and you have a massive instability. Oh, here's a, here's our victim. All right, you come here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, why? Oh, because this isn't gonna blow up anyway, is it? You don't go through that. Oh, wow. It doesn't even blow those things up. Oh, got it. That's the that's the hard rock. It doesn't break. Oh man, look at all the fire. Great. Go ahead, fire. <laughs> Eating up all my CPU. Yeah, <laughs> we've we've given the, we've given the CPU something to think about. <laughs> and here's something, here's something. If you wanna see what your machine will do, you can try this on for size. See how it handles it. Come on, let's find a good spot here. Get away from all that. Oh, here's a good spot. Look at that. We got some uh, some of those. Uh, uh, oh, those are bees, aren't they? I think those are bees in a in a in a bug there. All right, we're gonna go straight up and a, a few world destroyers right into the air. Yeah, there. <laughs> uh -oh. 
calling me sky high. <laughs> All right. And it's busy, still blowing up the world. Holy cow, look at that. All right. Oh. And it's struggling, trying to trying to deal with all those world destroyers. I just threw up in the air. Come on, get back down there. Get down there. Get down towards ground. Man, it blew me way up in the stratosphere. So it's running about five or six world destroyers right now. And you can see it's chewing up my CPU pretty good. My frames per second is down around 30. Look at it chomping on the CPU. Poor little thing struggling along trying to blow a ginormous hole in, in the ground. <laughs> It'll finish here eventually. All right, come on. All right, well, I can speed it up by getting rid of some fire, I think. No, I can't. It still has to do all of that tracing. All, all of that tracing. Yeah, it's just not done. We still have the sparkles are what tells you when it's finished. When it finishes sparkling, then it's, it's, uh, it's done blowing up. And you'll also see the number of entities over there on the left. It's pegged at about 6,000. Free list, none. <laughs> There's no free entities to spawn. Oh, we got dirt falling down over here. Oh man, did I eat up all my all my buffer? Man? No. Oh, it's that thing. Well, we found we found another. Um, what are these called? Uh, nightmare, nightmare spawning spot. Uh, how did you survive? Oh my god. I didn't know it had holes in there. It must be a different kind of rock. Wow. Oh, there's a nightmare. Holy cow. Not much of that survived. Wow. We made a huge hole out here. Holy cow. It's done blowing up. What's burning? Oh, the world's still burning. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all of that. Oh my god. Massive damage. Massive damage. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you can see that. My CPU is going like crazy. You can hear it still, still burning in the background. <sighs> That's the fans going. <laughs> now watch this. I'll do a I'll do a no fire. Now, there we go. You can see that it dropped off there in a couple of them on that second row. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Isn't that quite so busy? All right, wow, we did some ridiculous damage there. All right, so, yeah, don't throw a dozen world destroyers up in the air unless you want to just wreak havoc on your world i can't even get far enough away to see all the damage i just did oh my god just utter annihilation all right let's get out of here uh <laughs> holy cow all right let's hit next chaos dimension this is a this is usually a fun place because everything spawns here and it's just, this is fun to watch. You go to this uh, chaos dimension, and then you go into, uh, what was it, F10. F10 is uh, the uh, uh, showcase mode. And it'll just, no, don't get me. Why did I shoot Dargon? Two of them you get. Great, Dargon's got a throw. Three. Yep, this is definitely chaos. I got three Dargons. Three Dargons going nuts over here. Oh my god, three Dargons. Why? Why do I have three Dargons? Oh my god. See, now I can fight him down to like a quarter health and then and then uh, feed him something and he'll, uh, he'll be my friend. And then I can ride him. 
right, we're getting out of here. Where's the other one that's really cool? Uh, mashup. There we go. Mashup. Really cool place. This is just like all the dimensions put together, mashed into one. Wow. Oh, this looks like Kraken King dimension right here. See all the squids. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, man. We got a Mobzilla. Mobzilla in the crystal dimension. Oh, don't hurt the cats. Mobzilla in the crystal dimension. Get over there and worry about dimension. Yeah. Go eat a spider. There you go. What I think is funny is you get the, you'll see pieces of the Doom Dimension in here and the giant Doom worms running around just wrecking everything until they hit water, right? As soon as they hit water, they just explode and die. Because, oh no, another one. <laughs> what? Oh my God, two Mobzillas. Why? Why do we have two Mobzillas? Well, you know what? Let's see. We're not going to get this chance again. Two mobs are one more of this one. Boom, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. It didn't bother you at all, did it? It just didn't bother you at all. Oh my god, really? Alright, then I'm gonna hit you with a bunch of keys and stuff. Uh, oh, come on. kill a spider and then the video will be over oh wait no. what happens if I killed him did that count no Aww. I have not seen a kraken to play with here oh man all right well that's it for today I just wanted to show you, you know, play dimension roulette the speed is absolutely insane instant switch of dimensions no waiting just switch semicolon gets you to wherever you want to go right bang there we are <laughs> look at it look at it look at it look how fast that is right and uh, that's it that's what i wanted to show you and uh, 2.7 is out now you can get this amazing absolutely wild graphics as well and uh the danger dimension even if you got a little machine it's not quite so fast if you got like four cores that's all you need for the for uh, for this dimension because uh it doesn't take a lot of cpu this is one of the easy dimensions to get to play in stop that hey all right the music stopped working so yeah see cpu zero there there's a the same thing cpu seven cpu six they're not using much of anything so even if you're on a little machine head on over to the danger dimension and crank it up to ultra graphics mode you can enjoy yourself there and see the same thing everybody else does it's amazing and uh, that's it that's all for me Thank you all for watching.